and still been good. Your house, I, I, your house, we can go to your house after the date or after, you know, if we feeling and the vibe is good and, you know, we just can go back and continue talking and watch some shows or something like that. That's cool. Or, or, or whatever, man. Or, you know, and then but uh, sometimes we go back to your house and the first date was good enough. We're going to we gonna stop by the gas station and get a Rhino pill and a six-pack of Magnums, and we're going to get it popping. Hey, guys, it's me, LJ. I got a message for everybody. We cannot see what it's called. It's a secret. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great content for my daddy and YouTube. Oh, did I did 2K lad, man. Check this out, man. Y'all already know what time it is, full disclosure. Listen, this is what we had on yesterday. Look, we dropped the video super late last night. 1.3 thousand views already. Listen, a lot of people need jump shots. I'm trying to hook y'all up, man. The video yesterday, 7,000 views, six. Uh, 640 likes, man. Y'all boys are the real MVPs, man. We trying to get those likes up there, man. But hey, listen, y'all do what y'all gotta do, man. And y'all keep doing what y'all gotta do. I'm gonna keep doing what I have to do uh, with the Noti Gang Wall of Fame, man. Y'all come through and do stuff, man. Hey, man, one, two, says starting to become my favorite YouTuber. I can't lie, see a lot of myself and you. I go to work and come home to my wife and my kids and try to be semi competent, com competently play this game. Uh, at an above average level shooting sh i mean shooting been so difficult this year for me but your jump shot vids have been helpful for real i appreciate you bro man not gonna lie about that my boy jay nail said first in this thing man hey first person to like y'all come through like the video say first anything y'all gonna be on the noti gang wall of fame man that's my guy that's my guy qua uh uh, you know, we got a lot of, hey, man, hey, yay, I hope I made the note again. Yes, you did, man, fresh from the barbershop, man. To the moon! Y'all know what it is, man. And the top comment from yesterday was from Monkey DJ, man. And he says, honestly, I think that they don't want, they don't want uh, any more PGs because it feels pointless to make a short card uh, this year. Everyone runs lockdown and six foot six and higher guards who can do everything. The short guards, uh, can, the, 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 they can do everything the short guard, guards can plus more, man. And you're not lying about that, man. But I guess in the NBA, listen, man, Big has always been better uh, as far, pause, pause. Uh, anyway, Big is always better in the NBA, especially like if you can do something similar to what the next person can do, but you're taller. It's just like when Tom Brady came in for Drew Bledsoe, right? Uh, he, he could he could give you everything just about, if he can give you 70%, 80% of what Drew Bledsoe was giving you, and, and he's gonna do it at less than half the price, you might as well go with Tom Brady, and that's kind of what happens when in 2K. Uh, I might not be able to shoot as well, but if I can dunk, uh, I can play good defense, I can do all those things as a bigger guard, then the bigger guard is gonna win out. And it's just bigger is better than the NBA, man, and that's how it should be. That's what looks like the way that they're going with the game, and they don't want the game to just be boiled down to a three-hunt fest, and I think that's why uh, shooting off the dribble and all that stuff it is a little bit tougher, man. We're going to talk about all that in one second, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video, comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing to the ballers. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. Bill each and every last one of y'all. Let's get the video started. It's the only way that we know how. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop. BK, the people's town, coming to you live with another video, man. Bro, I just wanted to start off with this, man, because the ridiculousness that's happening in this world is just absolutely crazy. Let's get 200 likes uh, in the first hour. Man, let's get a, we're gonna get a thousand likes today, I already know. And man, we gonna cover this by Stephen A first, man, because I just thought this is one of the most, the most asinine things I've ever said. Hey, they put out this thing on Daily Loud yesterday where, where this is a, a list of restaurants women refuse to go on a first date is going viral and i'm just like bro let me tell y'all something man it's sick feeling you it don't matter where you can go you can go to a dog fighting contest or a hog fighting contest you can go literally anywhere in the world if she's digging you you can go sit by i done took first date sitting by a fountain that, that just that just had lights in it and i mean it's been great why because the chick is digging me if she's digging you it doesn't matter where you go like like we said like the rock would say and that's it. And if she's not digging you, guess what? It's her loss because 
if she's not if she's not rocking with the awesomeness that is you you know what i'm talking about we done beat billions of sales and beat all the odds just to be here bro ain't nobody worry about her man anyway look, look, we just talking about this here's a list of <laughs> places that women absolutely refuse to go listen my dating career would have been over y'all got to take what i say with a grain of salt i ain't been in the dating pool in 20 years man i've been with my wife 20 years so it is what it is cheesecake i'm just out of this cheesecake factory applebee's chilies chipotle olive garden they used to be olive garden used to be top tier i'm not gonna lie the movies i understand the movies if you're trying to talk and get to know somebody or what have you it's hard to talk in the movies but i done went to movies on first date and 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 it's still been uh and it's still been good your house oh I, I, your house we can go to your house after the date or after you know if we feeling and the vibe is good and we, you know we just can go back and continue talking and watch some shows or something like that that's cool or or, or whatever man or, you know and then but uh, sometimes when we go back to your house and the first date was good enough we gonna get there. We gonna stop by the gas station and get a Rhino peel and a six pack of Magnums, and we gonna get it popping. Hey man, hey, hey man, look, oh, look, it's a kid show. It's a kid show. Anyway, um, listen, any fast food chain, I can deal with. I can dig that, man. You don't want to go to fast food. We can't go to McDonald's on the first date unless she says, unless she says it's all good. Um, let me see. Uh, what Buffalo Wild Wings? I, I thought that was cool. Uh, Wingstop, Red Lobster. I mean, <laughs> Wingstop. I don't know, man. Like that's a, that's that that qualifies fast food to me. So the way that their restaurants are set up, buffets. I can dig it. I can see that. I hop in Dennis used to be my joint in college. So I'm sorry, I would have just lost the gym. Who goes to the first to the gym on the first date? But if she's in the fitness. And she say, yo, just meet me at the gym and we can go through a workout together. Hey, man, you already won. Chats, chats. Hey, man, that chats is like a, a, a 30th date when we know that you good with the fam. Uh, Starbucks, some, some, some girls like Starbucks. Coffee dates. Starbucks is a coffee date. What are you talking about? Ice cream dates at the park. I don't, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Them dope. The, I done done that on the first ones. And, and it's been just fine, man. I don't know what they're talking about. Family functions, you can't come around my family that early. Movie night, Netflix, and Hulu and stuff. That's just my house, though. That's the same thing. Somewhere that requires a long drive. That only works if she's digging you because it prolongs the conversation. So, again, uh, bowling, nightclubs, hookah bar. They've been paying me the hookah, though. And bowling them on the first date is dope. because, But, but a lot, for a lot of women, maybe not, because they want to come dressed to the nines and it gets them out of their comfort zone having to put on them clown shoes, man. Um, but yeah, like I said, they've been paying me the hookah, though. So, you know, I mean, hookah bar, a lot, I know a lot of women like that, that hookah bar. Um, you got... Uh, well, hold on, you can come on through. Come on, come on, hookah bar. A bar, uh, a bar for just drinks. Waffle House. My wife got a mean right. Come on in here. My wife can fight, so we can go to the Waffle House. We can go to the Waffle House on the first date and then sporting events. Now, if I took, what's our first date like at a at a at a at a game? Did we go to the game for we, a sporting event? For our first date was at Wendy's. Yeah. Um, and we went to uh, Frankie's Fun Park. Right. And you tell me, and, and you telling me why? Why did none of that matter? because she was digging me. If the chick is digging you, then it does not matter where you go on the first date. I understand maybe not fast food and some of these right here, the gym, church, you can't come around my family like that. Buffet, I ain't gonna lie though, they had some fire Asian buffets and what's... <laughs> yeah, the thing is, you gotta think about from a college uh, student standpoint too. Yeah. Most of them, are not going to have the money to right. So we were college students then. Fancy. So if a guy came to you now and he said Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you cool with Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, okay Chili's, Chipotle, everything on that. List. And maybe not McDonald's, super Except fast food, or Wingstop. The, the, the hookah bar because that's just what I don't do. Right, right, right. You you all right with Wingstop and and what? Okay, okay. How what? about how about your house? Your house now. Nah, I don't know you that Wait good. Wait a minute. Yet. Wait a minute. If you cooking, yeah. But but you don't know him. This is a first date. You a don't even really date? know. You don't really know him like that. Oh no, I think that just all depends on. the Yeah, person. it depends on the person and how long you know him. Because yeah. you might know somebody for a year and that's still your first date. So that's cool. Uh, like I said, man, my wife has debunked this, man. She said, "Hey, listen, if she digging the, if you're digging the person, it it wouldn't matter where I took her on this list. Yeah. Would have been cool. Mate, you're not going to church with me and family functions that early. But that's really? just that that not, that early." Like no, a first well, date? Well, not the family functions or whatever, yeah. but like church, that wouldn't bother me either. A, a first date at church? It would not bother me. Well, it's not. A, I don't yeah. think it's officially a yeah. first date, but hey, it is what it is. I just thought that the, the list was silly. And like Stephen, they said, where can you go? Where can you go? What is an acceptable first date going through this? And then the one, the one girl says, a first date 
in my eyes is only to set the dedicated uh, set time dedicated to being spent together that the that quality of time is determined by the connection you share not where you go or what you do i agree i.e if she's filling you it doesn't matter where yeah. you go it is what it is now we just spent eight minutes on I'm that man that. yeah she came through here I, I already know we already spent eight minutes on that that's way too long man yeah, but but, but yeah, they got a men's list. Man, man, we can go just about anywhere. Anyway, man, we got uh, we getting to the right stuff right off the bat. Y'all let me know if that list is just crazy to y'all or what, man. Because like I said, if, if she digging you, you can go anywhere. Y'all asked for more Brie Easy. We gave y'all more Brie Easy, man. But listen, this is what we're talking about right here. Uh, first legend. Speaking of first, first legend down. This is what Nate said. First legend down. Uh, he said yeah, he beat uh, he beat Random Wizard and all of that good stuff. And hey, man, listen, the, the, hey, they was not having it though because nadex the, the ja says that nadex was uh told us that the first legend random wizard um has no clout and random wizard responds with a screenshot of nadex asking him if you want to be in tmb and here we go right here who we get juicy he said bro you have no clout and uh and you hit first legend and so he just says hey random wizard you know tmb or what man and then oh Hey man, it is what it is, but them boys say we keep receipts in this joint, man. It is, hey, it's it's all good. They are uh, another thing that we got here. We says power DF is no longer racially ambiguous. It says, hey man, so you supposed to be playing hope post hooking. Now he says, you know, I ain't scared of none of that. But he said we can play, we can play all Europe, all West, uh, all Brazil, and then also I'm um, black. And then then somebody put this out and said this is power, man. We don't know. They look like Michael Jackson. Uh, something like that, but they said they can, this can't be the dude that got a million Chick Fil A points. No way. They say, <laughs> bro, it's the DL Photoshop. I don't know, man. I don't know if that's power, man. Y'all let me know. I've seen so many videos that that claim to be power, man. It's not even funny, man. But listen, this is the last thing that we got, man. The the, the big the big thing that we have for y'all today, man. And this is what we're talking about: the Zens. Zens are back. People keep saying in the comment section. <laughs> Zins are not back. It's not a zen. It's not a this. It's not. Shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. We know it's not literally a zen. We know it's the Titan. We know that there's PC software that does it. We know that there's endless types of names for it. We just say zen because it's the easiest thing to say. It's just like when people say, "Pass me a Kleenex." It's really a tissue, but we say Kleenex because that's just that's just what people are used to saying. It's just become what's socially acceptable or what have you. And in this space, we know that it's not literally a zen. But listen, man, I told y'all this a couple of days ago, and um, I was talking about people being sensational. And a lot of times, what Random we do is when we do this, man, and when we when we looking at this stuff, we keep looking at it from the wrong perspective. We look at it and say to ourselves. You know, are the shots makeable? Yes, the shots are makeable. The problem is the audacity with which the person takes the shot. Nobody's taking a shot like that with somebody running up their back. On the break right there with somebody bearing down, maybe he takes that intake. It's just not, it's not just the fact that they're taking them. We talking about what got us here. And then, like, like I said, bro, like we, that, my guy takes the same exact shot. Look, this dude take the shot with us in his face with no hesitation, me in his face, just takes the shot and hits it from half court. And then we come down here to the end, boom, both of us in his face, he takes the shot with no hesitation. It's not necessarily the shots that you take, whether they're makeable or not, it's the audaciousness with which you take them that makes me wonder whether or not you are sensational and that's all we trying to say man so that boy key sticks he he ran up on one too he says hey what do you guys think legit or not this dude is a 83 pointer shooting six for six from half court and we gonna just blow it we just gonna blow this up man and you just gonna we gonna take a look at it like i said it's not it's like like nobody's taking that shot bro with somebody walking to him on that from half court with an 83 ball even deeper like i i i like bro with 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 muscle take or fitness like come on bro you're not taking these shots it just is what it is he walks up you take that one he's he's like yeah maybe you'll take that one i don't got no problem with that one. but that one bro that's super super deep and then that's content super deep super deep it's super deep hey yeah only thing that we're saying man is the is the audaciousness with which the person takes the shot no hesitation 
um and none of that stuff and then he said here is his my player and he's got a 83 ball he ain't got no limit list no none of that stuff bro ain't nobody taking those shots with with that right there even the good homie uh hey all city live tv he had it up yesterday i could not find the original joint so we're just gonna look at it off of all city page y'all want to see the full video go over there this is what bullet encountered on yes on the other day like dude shooting from half court with the 80 a lot of people they they're not even trying to hide it anymore i've told y'all today out there we know that the software is out there we know all of this stuff man like it, it's just bad bro like and, and and the crazy thing is they're not like they don't care like who's taking that fade bro come on man i even played against a dude that was 16 out there yesterday um and he was doing it look somebody right there in his face he doesn't care they don't care this is insane, man. Like, you got to be, you got to be either in on it. If you think people not cheating, if you think they're not doing it, you either got to be in on it or you want to know what they have or you're trying to get, you know, trying to get down with them or what, or whatever, man. But nobody's taking these shots, bro. He would have gone a little bit further to the right and, and uh, you know, and took the shot. He, he just not, that's, that's just not happening, bro. It just is what it is. And then he hits the last one right there. And uh, like I said, bro, with the 83 ball, hey, Maybe you can do it, but when Dynasty was hitting shots like that, they said that he was the most highly touted, uh, you know, prospect ever. So why are these guys not the most highly touted prospect ever? And don't give me that crap about they just don't want to be on the scene. Like <laughs> they just don't want to be on the scene. They just don't. They just want to play casually and all of that, bro. You're not taking shots like that and playing casually. Miss me with that bullshit. That's all I'm telling y'all, man. They zenning and uh, they zenning the win. Those guys are, for lack of a better word, sensational. And it just is what it is. Last but not least, we got that boy Splashy talking about that boy BP. <laughs> BP is pushing, pushing. Uh, the agenda that BP pushing has to has to be to get back in the league because no chance he'd go he'd go on his timeline BSing as much as he has this year. And so, like, uh, this is one of the last. This is one of the joints that they got up there, and he just says, "I'm gonna be honest. I don't agree with 2K with the with 2K BS, but they fixed it today. And some and at some point, y'all thumbs, uh, it's y'all thumbs. Y'all just cry too much as grown men. Now, I definitely agree with him on that. As crying too much as grown men, I tried to help people out. I tried to. I I, I don't change my stance. I just wish they'd stop messing with the game. They said we took away the related speed ups, and now you get slowdowns." when somebody comes out there and, 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 and hey listen we can figure it out just leave it how it is we will figure it out i promise you that but i think they did touch something on yesterday i don't know if it made it more consistent or not bp is saying that it's good and it's back how it is um i i just like i just want them to just stop messing with stuff and just leave it how it is i honestly don't care what they do i'm going to shoot the ball and then i try to change my stance a little bit and try to get on y'all side and try to see it from y'all perspective and then people are like oh people are like <laughs> you was on their side is it like I, I just don't care now i hope they leave it like it is and and anybody that was mad that i'm trying to go to bat for you i hope you never hit another shot in 2k ever again that's how i feel about it because i'm gonna shoot the ball I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna do my thing. Find somebody to get up in here to do my thing. But you try to you try to go to bat for people, and then this side this community is they're gonna they're gonna say that you that you you were you was on this side yesterday, and now you on this side. I definitely reserve the right to change my mind based upon further observation of something. But you know, trying to trying to just help people out and bring awareness to it because I know I got a platform, and then they telling me, hey, hey man, you changing your tune? I really don't care. I'm still shooting. Y'all look at what I'm shooting in the wreck and shooting in all the game modes I play. I'm fine. I'm just trying to get some awareness out there because I know that there's some of you guys that are struggling. I'm not in that group. It is inconsistent. It is annoying. It is, it is bothersome, but it is nothing that I can't figure out. So I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to shoot the ball the way I have been, but I understand from you guys standpoint that there are some things that are fundamentally wrong with the game like the game can't decide whether you're open or not and that's the source of you getting the speed ups and slowdowns they took away the speed ups now everything's a slowdown and it's just ex extremely slow with everything but i'm still hitting my shots at a 60 percent clip or something like that man like i go in the wreck and they won't even leave me open because they see that, that i was shooting a crazy percentage after the patch on my new bill so it is what it is but let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man like like i said are those guys zenning do they need to do something and where you going on your first date and if she digging you does it even matter i don't think it does y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time
It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK. Gosh,